let's now move to uh, the capital city delhi the delhi capitals uh, they were looking for um, an indian wicket keeping option as well or any other keeper that they could because Rishabh Pant may or may not keep, we don't know about that. Uh, and here's what they got. Harry Brook, the first one. Tristan Stubb, South Africa's uh, keeper option. Jai Richardson, there's Shea Hope as well. Kumar Kushagra is a name uh, that got them going. Uh, from Jharkhand, keeper batter Rasik Dar Salam as well. Has played for MI, Swastik Chikara came in as well. So they picked as many as the four, five, six, nine players. Uh, in the auction, uh, Harsha, do you like the look of uh, this Delhi squad? Well, they really is nine. Yep. So that you get nine back. Yeah. Uh, I think they wanted that powerful middle order player because I think they've got a fabulous top four if Rishabh Pant is fully fit. In Warner, Pant, uh, Shaw, and Marsh. Yep. And I really hope Shaw looks after himself and comes back and plays well because the problems with Shaw are elsewhere, not in his ability to hit a cricket ball. His problems are elsewhere. Now the moment you get to the, st you go there. They release Russo. They release Rothman Powell. So they needed to have a powerful player. They've given that role to Harry Brook. So that gives you a very good top five. Now they need a wicket keeper because they don't have a wicket keeper. Yeah. And right through this auction, there's one player who's watching it very, very carefully, <laughs> and that is Abhishek Porel. Yep. Abhishek Porel watches the paddle go up and up and up and up for Kumar Kushagra. And as I said at the time, one buy produced two different emotions. Kushagra is that power hitter at six they want, and suddenly Abhishek Porel is saying, "Oh, mera kya hoga?" <laughs> but if they've if they've identified him as the power hitter, then Kushagra has to play at six. Yep. Then they go to Akshar at seven. What happens after that? Let's put that. Let's look at that list again. Kuldeep. Let's look at that list again. In terms of bowling, they're okay. Who's their power? Who's, who's their impact sub? Their impact sub is another bowler. What happens to the batting after number seven? It's very much like an Indian team. What happens to the batting after number seven? So, if they've got Kuldeep, Nokia, Mukesh, Khalil, then they get Mitch Marsh to bowl a little bit. Their impact sub will have to be someone who can come in to bat at, at seven, maybe. I think Lalit Yadav. They Lalit have Yadav, to play Lalit Yadav. But Lalit Yadav has been on the shelf for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, He's a product the... that's been on the shelf for a long time that's gathering dust. So, Lalit Yadav has a hype, but this year, I, I haven't seen him. I, I look at the Delhi scorecard, I don't see a lot happening there yeah. with Lalit Yadav. So, their problem is going to be Akshar Patel at 7, perfectly good at 7. Yeah. But the batting ends ends at 7 and they've got to say, right, like Rajasthan Royals did when they came to the final, they'll play 7 batters. I've got Mitch Marsh to give me 2 overs and I'll have Akshar Patel as 1 of 5 bowlers and I will have Mitch Marsh in there. They were also looking for uh, some injury cover for uh, Nokia and Rabada. Yeah, which they got. Which they got in Jai Richardson? You Jai convinced? Richardson, I think. The, he's and the... who have they got? Someone who's always injured. <laughs> <laughs> That's also true. When he bowls well, he's a lovely outswing bowler at pace. Yeah. And he can bat at number 8. Yeah. Perfectly capable of batting at 8. Yeah. Is he always going to be fit? Mumbai Indians released him because they never saw him. Yeah. So, Ngidi, Nokia. Nokia's got, I suspect Nokia's got uh, a, a deeper issue. He's still not playing against India. I don't think he's going to play that series against India. Yeah. And Angidi may not play the series against India. Unless both of them are saying, doesn't matter if I'm unfit in January, in February, can I be fit in <laughs> mid-March? March is when everyone... Uh, everyone is fit. Everyone recovers. Everyone is fit. Mm. How many out of uh, five for Delhi? Again, for me, all middling teams. 3.5 for me again. Shea uh, Hope was a desperate purchase. Towards the end, they suddenly realised, like, hang on, we need that additional player. What happens with Brook? What happens if England pull away Brook? And they didn't have anyone to go to. So, Shea Hope is a bit of that kind of purchase. Shea they went after Riley Russo. Yeah, but they went after Russo. What will happen if they can play Hope is they get a wicketkeeper there. Yeah. So, that could solve some of the issues, but I don't see how he makes the 11 in a full strength. He's a fantastic ODI player. But not sure about he's a great ODI player. Yeah. Not sure about T20. Mm. You look at the West Indies batting lineup, he's always going 120, 130 yeah. if he plays long enough. So yep. So I think still some structural issues. On 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 this auction, they got stubs maybe as on paper as a keeper. I'm going about three on the auction, I'll be honest. Just for our viewers, the reason we are talking so much about wicket keeping is we're not sure if Rishabh Pant will be fit enough uh, to keep as well at the IPL in he April. Can. and opens up so many things. If he does, yeah. Oh yes, yes. things change a lot. Uh, but Prithvi Shaw has, should consider himself fortunate. 
to still be a part of uh, the Delhi Capitals? Yeah, I think they're backing him. The truth is that he is a he's a game changer of a player. But I think this is his last year to prove the fact that he can play, you know, on a regular basis and he can field. I mean, it it should hurt him that he's subbed out all the time as an impact sub. I think I think Prithvi Shaw is a time bomb. Question is where is it exploding? Is that bomb exploding in the opposition side or is the bomb exploding in his own side, mm. in his own house? Mm. So if Prithvi Shaw can handle himself, if Delhi can handle Prithvi Shaw, I saw some numbers that say that if any bats 30 balls, Delhi Capitals win 90% of their games. Yeah. He is a phenomenal ball striker. Yeah. I would put him as a genuine India contender. If he was going well, he, he, he plays for India in T20 cricket. If you have an, even if you're an alternate 11, an Indian alternate 11 would be almost as good as the Indian main 11. But he's that good a player. If he cannot self destruct and if he can keep hitting the ball like he was born to hit a ball, he's going to change this side with Warner and Pant, uh, with Warner and Shaw opening the batting.